open up our credits and then uh, open up the floor for some questions. Very special thanks to these guys. I actually want to say, because I see them here in the front row, our asset team over here, oh my gosh, they are awesome. But uh, yeah, has anybody got a question for us? Tim's rule. That's Matt's area. Let me give that to him. Uh, the question was, how did we do our path planning? Is that correct? Uh, for the most part, we just I just used uh, or what we I, we all kind of played a part in it. Uh, just uh, created a normal 2D array, and uh, we didn't really use the, the node mesh, which is what our old e EP suggested to us. So, well, sorry, I'm getting off track. A little nervous still. <laughs> but uh, mostly we we just used a, a node structure and found where uh, in collision objects would be. Every frame, I'd create a, a collision map. And that map would just con uh, contain a, a zero or a one in a uh, tile system. And if it had a one in it, obviously there was an object in it. And if there's a zero in it, there was no object in it. And that's how it would determine whether uh, it could move there or not and do it very quickly for all the units on the map. Is there any more questions? Jim? You got a really awesome game there. What are you most impressed with? Um, I think we all probably have our own things that we're most impressed with, but at least for me, what I'm most impressed with is uh, the fact that it's a very unique RTS in itself. Any other questions? Okay. Um, do the girl units have any different uh, moves or powers or abilities than the boy units, or are they essentially the same? We did create one of their power-ups to be different. Uh, it's actually kind of a special power-up that we didn't really have enough time to show. Uh, one was a, it gives a, a benefit to the boys' wedgies, and the other one for the girls would be it allows them to throw snowballs faster. So yes, they do have some differences. Any other questions? Yes. Um, is there a place where we can get this game? Is there a place where we can get this game? Is that the question? Yeah. Um, we actually have a bunch of CDs that we made. So if you want the game afterwards, uh, we'll give you a disc. Just come ask us. Any? Yes. Uh, how did you? Uh, the question was, is how do we work out the balancing issue? I would say it probably still needs a little bit of work, but that was definitely not the priority of our time. Um, I think what helped out a lot is I'm a big RTS fan, and uh, I have a, I'm just a math-oriented mind, so a lot of uh, <coughs> balancing I tried to do uh, right up front when we first made the game and that's pretty much what stayed through most of the game. Other than that, we haven't put really much effort into the actual balancing because we saw other things uh, required more in our time. Any other questions? Yes? Uh, you guys mentioned that uh, you have a level editor? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, I'll let Tim take that one. <laughs> yes, we do. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, really, uh, it's uh, most of the students might, might remember doing the 2D double editor in uh, Windows programming. But uh, basically, you you have a, we have a tile editor, and you can place the, you know the tree tile. So when you place a tree, a tree will actually be there in the game. You can pick the spots where the resources are. You can pick starting places. You, pretty much everything that's in the game, you can you can place however you like with a few requirements, like you have to have a playground so that you can you know, generate children to fight with. So pretty much anything in the game, you can decide whatever you want. Anybody else? How many players can you have on the account? Networked, we can, uh, networked or single player, you can have four teams, four factions on there at once. So it's pretty fun, too. How many players after four teams are you allowed? How many units can be on there? Well, right now, we actually have it so that there is absolutely no limit. <laughs> so, depending on your computer, <laughs> you, uh, you, can, you can do whatever you want. And how fast you can you know, like it to run. 
Yeah, if you're playing with teams, can boys team up with girls and have a boy girl? Absolutely. Team? Yeah. Okay. You can customize it however you want. We're a little biased, but <laughs> you know, if you're a girl or you just like that, go for it. <laughs> Anybody else? No. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Nice job, guys. Let's give that a little round of applause. Good morning, Tim, to all the teams today. Very nicely done. Good stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Um, we want to thank everybody for coming, on behalf of myself and the uh, rest of the uh, final project staff and all the students. Thank you for coming, and I uh, hope you enjoy yourselves. Have a great day. Thank you. 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 Thank you.